Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Periscope. Happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday to you all. Thank you for joining me. Um, Rufus, I remember you telling me your name and I forgot. I have to admit that. Let me know what your name is. Hello, Scott. Hello, Alex. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Plus, yes, plus, I remember now. Um, welcome back. It's been a while for you. Um, so today we're going to be doing a tarot reading for the weekend and really see. I hope all has been well. It has been going really well. Um, so let me just update you, Plez. I have um, launched on my website a free um, giveaway. It's the seven keys to awaken your sexual power. So I hope that you go on my website and claim your copy. You simply have to put your name and email and you will only be receiving one email a month um, from me. Hello, Soldado. And there you go. Miracles just put up my website, sexualitypower.com. And what else do I have going on? I have, in the next coming weeks, I have a program coming up. And yeah, you'll learn more about that next week, actually. I'm going to be talking about that program all of next week. So we have four cards that came up for us. The first card is the Queen of Gabriel. And for those of you who might not know, last night was the new moon. And the new moon actually was the first moon of the astrological year. Right? So happy new year to you guys in, in astrology years. And it was a super new moon. So there is a lot of change coming. And right now, it's it's an opportunity for adventure. And that's actually what this card is coming up to really tell us. It's saying, you can do anything right now. The energy, the cosmos are really supporting us right now. Go after what you want. Go after what you want. And we have right now... The ability to attract the people we need to attract into our lives to really help us, right? We are not here to do things alone. Our mission, yes, we all have a mission and a purpose, but it is also the same mission for someone else. So it's really time to attract the people into our lives that have um, similar paths to us. And it's so interesting because yesterday's empowerment message was about finding new talents, finding, surrounding yourself with, with new abilities, with new people. And today it's telling us that we can attract any person who is going to be helpful and, and help us on our journey. But more importantly, oops, sorry, just moved this. But more importantly, the message with this card is that right now the energies are supporting us and we have the ability to do anything. Now the last three cards came up all in high importance. So let's start with the Six of Raphael. And the Six of Raphael says embrace your inner child, new friends or rekindled relationships, children or childhood. And the message I'm getting here is really about embracing your inner child and what that means how to embrace your inner child is through your imagination and your self-love and those are actually two things that also came up oh my god this is like i'm having a little deja vu this came up yesterday in the ceremony that we did in the afternoon so if you didn't catch the ceremony it's still up until today at four so make sure you can catch the replay and um, listen to that audio video thing. Um, but definitely the inner child has to do with our imagination and really letting go of our inhibitions. Good morning, Zoraida. Hello, Lariena. Thank you for complimenting my hair. Thank you, thank you. I'm letting it grow and, you know, it's doing its own thing. So I'm letting it do its own thing. 
read my tarot. If you'd like your own personalized tarot reading, this is a group tarot reading, but I do offer individual tarot readings through my website. Just visit sexualitypower.com. You can click on the services and right there you will see the um, powerful heart tarot readings. That is a much more in-depth reading with me where you really can ask as many questions as you want and get as much clarity as you need to continue on your journey here. So the next card that we got in high importance is the Ten of Michael. And I love this, this image, right? She's such, she has so much grace in her posture. How much do I charge? My readings are, I believe, 125. So a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you, right? Put the past behind you. So this is definitely part of what we are shifting out of, right? Hello, King Lee. Welcome. Welcome, Stephen. Right? It's really we're coming to the end, the end of the of the astrological year. We're coming to the end of fear. Are you reading? I am doing a reading, my love. Thank you for asking. So we are really coming to the end of um, fear, and and really, one of the things that came up yesterday in the in the reading we did is that right now is a moment of destiny. And what that means is that we have a choice. We have the choice to continue living a life of fear. And if we make that choice right now, um, one of the things that has come up is that it will continue for three years. Right? This cycle that we're entering right now is a cycle that's going to last about four years. So be, be very, very mindful what you are choosing, right? Because you don't want to um, choose fear right now and then be stuck in that for four years but really it's it's the choice is fear or freedom right and I don't know about y'all but I am choosing freedom yes I am and that's what the universe wants us to choose that's what it's supporting us in choosing so I invite you all to make that choice and step into your power you know really create a new life through your imagination and allow the past to just be in the past. Who you were yesterday is not who you are today. Not by a mile and a half, right? So let the new flow into your life. And the last card is a beautiful, beautiful card. One of my favorites, Leap of Faith. And this is exactly what they're asking us to do. They're asking us to believe in ourselves, to listen to our heart, and do what gives us joy. When we are in joy, we're actually attracting abundance. And if you did not, hello Paulina, and if you didn't catch um, the webinar yesterday that Miracles did, oh my God, what a good webinar. She is having it again today at 1 o'clock, and I will be back on there because it was just so good. I have to, I have to watch again and take more notes. Um, but I invite you all to check out her website because right on her website, miracleswithinus.net, she has all of the information to subscribe for her webinar that is happening today at one. And guess what, y'all? If you want the information but can't be on live, still subscribe. You will get the replay. And the replay is the whole thing recorded. So it's a really great opportunity to learn some tips and tricks on how to attract abundance. And that is definitely one of the things that comes when we take the leap of faith. We will be attracting way more abundance we will be living in joy and she talks about lifting our vibration up to joy and what that does for us so i invite you to take advantage of that and that is our reading for today so just to recap we started with the queen of gabrielle all about the possibilities right now we are being supported 
the people we need in our lives are going to come and really, really, really getting clear. Like if ever we had to get clear about what we want, now is the moment. Not tomorrow, today. Today is a day to get clear, to set those intentions. The energy of the new moon is still around us. So make sure you set your intentions, right? My intention, and this was um, kind of the overarching message for the new moon is let life lead. And that is my intention. To let life lead me in wh to whatever, to wherever it needs to lead me. And to really surrender to the will of the universe, right? Sexuality Power is my website, sexualitypower.com. You can go on there and learn more. Now, you are, if you're interested in more about sexuality, we are on in the afternoons at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time to talk about sexuality. The second card we got was the six of Raphael, all about our imagination and connecting with our inner child. Thank you, Scott. Love you too. The ten of Michael was all about putting the past behind us and new opportunities for freedom arising. And our last card is Leap of Faith. Believe in yourself. Let your heart guide you and do what brings you joy so that is our reading for this weekend join me this afternoon again at four for our romance reading that should be very very juicy as there is also lots of love and um partnerships in the air so i see you this afternoon at four until then check out my website sexualitypower.com where you can claim your copy of the seven keys to awaken your sexual power. Love you all. Bye.